to make a habit of empathy, to recognize ourselves in each other. So we're here at the uh, Miserly uh, rally. There's a group up here wanting to support Johannes Miserly. Uh, and uh, there's a group here that's kind of supporting Oscar Grant. And they're kind of uh, discussing with each other here. And we're here to talk with uh, both sides and asking them about empathy. So that's what we're asking people is to tell us about empathy. They're telling us all kinds of stories and we're really appreciating that. So um, let's go uh, hear some more stories. I think there's somebody over there we might want to talk to. You want to get arrested? You assault me again. Because I'll have this officer see it and your ass will go to jail, I guarantee you. I'm asking people about empathy, the value of empathy. I have empathy for the police department. Did I have no empathy for a man who shoots another man in the back when he's down on the ground with a knee in his neck. So you value empathy in your life? In my life, yes. Empathy is important to you. It's kind of sort of important, but I'll tell you, any officer in this group of men will tell you when you have your knee on the man's back, on the back of his neck, and you're pushing down with almost 200 pounds, he ain't going to get up. So what can we do to create more empathy in we society? We need to have these officers understand that not everybody that looks like me, walks like me, talks like me, is a hoodlum. These law enforcement have to put their lives on duty on the line every ship, every day. And things happen, it's terrible. I'm not saying, I grew up without a father. Hey, was, I was, was, my father was killed in line duty. I know exactly what hey, that was. So yes, I have empathy for her. At the same time, what they did, and they had, they think they have a right to break into someone's bill, someone's business, steal things. I have no empathy for them. I think they should be taken to the cleaners. I am. Too bad for the police. I'm asking people about empathy. Would you like to say a few words about how this relates to empathy? Well, empathy for uh, Oscar Grant and his family. You change how uh, black men are viewed in this society. Uh huh. So black men should be viewed right. differently. Right. We, they should be viewed this different. You know, uh, we're we're profiled. You know, uh, black men are, are negatively negatively viewed in the media every day. Uh, we're, we're, it's like we're inherently um, violent to most people. So that idea of, of how black men are in this society has to be changed. So you feel that people aren't empathizing with black men. Is it so there's a lack of empathy there from right. some parts of society. Right. So you would like more empathy for African American and black that men. Would prevent uh -huh. Events like this uh -huh. to happen. here because I think a man was murdered and the justice system absolutely failed in convicting the man who did it. So How can we heal that? Brotherhood. 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 Oh, brotherhood for everybody. Equality. Do you want the under a little fire for your forehead? Is that more comfortable? Yeah. I think dialogue is useful, um, but ultimately, as you see here, um, words only do so much. Ultimately, uh, in order for us to have more empathy in the society, we are going to have to 
Unfortunately, stop empathizing with the people who are oppressing us. I think the fact that we are being taught to empathize with people who have no empathy for us keeps us in this position. It keeps the society from being empathetic. Well, you know, Gloria Steinem, she says empathy is the most revolutionary feeling and the means are the end. The, the means towards, an, basically, the means towards an empathic civilization, an empathic society, is to use empathy. If you empathize with a sociopath, you will empathize yourself to death and accomplish nothing. And the people running the show are sociopaths. They have no regard for anyone but themselves. They've demonstrated this time and time again. I think that there's no empathy. You know, there's a lot of anger at the show. I'm not empathetic right now. I'm trying to be impartial. Trying to be. But they're making it real difficult for me to be impartial. Real difficult. Well, I guess there's not a lot of empathy going on right now. <laughs> I think first off, if you had a dialogue like empathy, you should wait till before a mother loses her son on a dark platform to a senseless murder to then stand up and say, uh -huh. let's talk empathy. Uh -huh. We should have been talking empathy when we asked repeatedly, let's sit down with our city leaders and come up with dialogue to have better laws for these police. Let's sit down and have police from our community who are willing to understand our children. There will never be empathy if you have strangers governing any community. No. I value you respect. Uh -huh, respect. And respect, you uh -huh. won't need empathy most times. Because if you truly respect another human, uh -huh. chances is you won't find yourself in as many problems that will end up with you having to hurt somebody and then feel empathetic to their situation. But in our generation, I'm trying to find a place that we can both start at. You realize that, right? Tell me where to start at. I'm uh, the question was, how do we create a culture of empathy? I think the first is to be able to openly and honestly talk about everything. And that's what to be empathetic to both sides, right? Whether it's Oscar Grant's family, who we, we uh, our hearts go out to, or uh, the Measurely family. A lot of um, Caucasian people don't yeah, understand African Americans, and I think that instead of being afraid of us and being scared of us, you need to sit down, come in our neighborhoods, have coffee with us, um, and get to know us. Atmosphere of distrust, you know. But I think that uh, if, if, if there are enough um, so-called leaders would uh, uh, get together with the people and have the police going to, to the communities, to the churches, to the organizations, and meet with the people and try to try to create a uh, level of trust. All come together, just put everything aside, just for even a day or two, your differences, and talk things out. We're having conversation here as a person talking about what it's like to be a police officer um, and see the, the crime and the, the death and rape and everything every single day and what it's like. Um, and the you know, police officer is a human, a young man identifies himself as an animal. Anarchist, um, very much not enjoying the strategy of, uh, of the officers and, and even more so government and so forth. So they're kind of trying to, they're grappling with how do you have a society where everybody participates. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying we should remedy the cause instead of the symptom of society's problems. So how, do you, how would you do that? I believe in community. I think that the reason we have all these problems is because we have a lack of community. People do not care about each other. We live in a society of fear, yeah. like you were saying. And that's one of the things that I take pride in. Everyone I come across is a human being to me. It doesn't matter what color skin they are. Like I said, I've never had any excessive force complaints against me. I'm extremely professional. And I'd like to think that I do make a difference in my community. I would be. I've talked to several people here and try to explain how me as a police officer is hurt by all of this. There's a guy over there with all cops are killers, and I try to have a conversation with him, and he refused to talk to me because he doesn't want to talk to me. About well, I think a lot of that has to do with suspending judgment. Um, you know, we don't know what other people's experiences are, and I think in order to really be able to empathize with somebody, you have to have sort of been where they are and have had the opportunity, you know, as they say, walk a mile in someone else's shoes. So um, I think that as we, as a culture, learn how to do that better and put aside our own judgment and to say, okay, well, let me try to see where you're coming from. Um, I, I think that that'll go a long way towards creating more empathy in the world.
see the world through other people's eyes. Now, empathy is a quality of character that can change the world.